Right, just going to do a quick, um, more in-depth look at the Tier 1 tactical bipod in carbon fibre. So here is the box, or bag, whatever you want to call it, with the bipod in. So, again, as you can see with this, I've got some leg extensions. And again, these, these items were all the accessories are really, really easy to fit. So all you literally do with that... Again, that's your leg extension, so that would obviously go on the end of the bipod. And that little detent there, so all you do, simply push that in, and that would then push onto the bottom of the bipod. And again, that's the same with these claw feet. So again, we've got these claw feet, which are those, which again, the head swivels and pivots. And again, a simple little hole there. It says, there you go. Which literally just pushes on the end of the leg. So I'll leave those in there for a second. So, bipod itself. So again, you've got this section here, which is carbon fibre. Then your aircraft grade aluminium. That button there is for the legs, which again which is sprung loaded, so if I was to press that, the leg would actually fire down. Um, this button here, which when the leg is folded down, that actually locks into this section here. So to then fold this leg back up, you would have to then press that button there. This lever, which again is for part of the Picatinny, so that would allow that to move. And you've also got this locking mechanism as here as well. So once that's actually locked onto the Picatinny, you can actually then push that back onto there. That will actually lock into position and will stop you from actually moving this lever. So what you would need to do if you then want to take it off the rifle is to push that down and then fold that across. So if I get the bipod out itself. So again, the legs there just at the end of or the back that knurled nut here that one that adjusts the cant which obviously is the is the tilting of the uh, bipod once it's on so what i'll do is i'll just fire one of the legs out so there's one there's two and again on the legs themselves you've got those small little holes so one two three four so the height is adjustable on those legs once it's in the actual ground and again the ends of the feet so all you would do if you wanted to take that foot off I'll try and demonstrate it is if I literally just get a bullet so tip of a bullet and then it's going to be a bit difficult because I'm trying to do this on a phone, bear with me. So, here we go. So, so all you'd literally do is push that in there. It says, and that leg or the end just simply comes off so then if I wanted to then fit again one of your claw feet so claw foot would then literally just go on the end of the bipod and then obviously you've got your little hole there so that would that would line up there you'd literally just push that in and that's it so that is your foot then on your bipod which again twists in position to wherever you want it really really clever idea to be fair um, very easy to do but again obviously I'm trying to do it single-handed which isn't the easiest thing to do so it's not a not a fair comparison to be fair, but 
it is very very easy to do so again foot off original rubber foot back on and detent push in and that's it just clicks in position uh, the feet themselves again to put them back down is press press that button here and then the leg just simply just pushes in but again if you want it at different positions you can have it at different positions so there's another again so you can alter them to wherever you want them to be to be fair push that all the way in there we go So what I'll do now is just lock the legs out or pull the legs out. So if I just, there we go. So that's one leg. And then your other leg, again, simply just folds down and locks into position. So that's with your legs extended. Again, once the legs are down, this is not going to move anywhere. The only way you can actually then fold the legs up is to press this button in here at the top. And again, if I just press that button in, and then the leg will then fold back up to its position. So it's not actually locked in that position, but again, it's only locked in in its vertical position. So when you when you really need it deployed on the ground. The idea of that, I suppose, when it's locked in position at the bottom, is if you've got a heavy recoiling rifle, there is no way that that leg is actually going to fold when it's under recoil. There's, there's no way, because like I say, it's absolutely rock solid in the top of there. I'll see if I actually fold that in. If you can see the notch on the bottom. See if the camera, yeah, so there is your notch at the bottom, there, Let's see if it can zoom in, no, um, so as you can see with that notch, once that's locked in there, it ain't going nowhere at all, absolutely rock solid. Construction wise, again as you can see, it's absolutely sublime engineering, it's first class, there's not a, uh, not a flaw, not a fault, no nothing. And weight wise it just there's just nothing there nothing there um hopefully that just clears a few things up again with the tier one carbon fiber tactical bipod um and again sorry it's not the best demonstration in the world but I'm trying to film it on a phone and do some of the features one-handed is a little bit tricky but i can assure you that Without a phone, if you actually got it in your hand, to operate this thing is absolutely a doddle, an absolute doddle. Um, so again, the only accessories I've currently got at the minute is the leg extensions, because this is the shorter version of the bipod. It's a shorter legs, and then I, I thought, well, I'll get the shorter one, because at the end of the day, if I need to extend them with the leg extensions, I can. If I've got the longer one, I can't take any off if it's too long, whereas with obviously with a shorter one I can extend them. So I've got a set of leg extensions, and again with the f current field conditions, crap and mud and everywhere on the floor, I thought these would be, the claw feet would be a great asset to use as well. Just stops these ends digging into the mud, whereas these, it's going to give it a little more purchase in the ground and uh, just stop it digging in the ground as much or sinking down in the ground should I say because obviously these are going to provide me with a lot more grip they also offer spike feet so a single spike and they are releasing some um, spi uh, spike feet 
and they've also got some ski feet. I don't think the, the spike feet are out at the moment. I think they're due out imminently within the next week or so. Um, so they should be out just before Christmas. Um, again, all the engineering, even on the feet, is absolutely first class. There's no flaws, there's no nothing. It's just absolutely perfect. Couldn't I can't fault anything, to be fair. Brilliant. Um, great, great, great bipod. bipod. Uh, something I highly, highly, highly recommend. So there you go. That again is the tier one tactical carbon fiber bipod. Proudly made in England. Thanks for watching.